I would just bounce. And I had this sort of like toxic model of like what love was from my parents, but then also all the shame and insecurities. Like, I think I'm ambitious. No, I'm being dragged by <laughs> this need to be enough, right? So those are kind of the two, two top line ideas that I took away from my experience with sort of introspection. Are there any like big picture ideas that you've taken away from therapy that were epiphany moments, connected dots? That's a loaded question mm -hmm. because I, I'm so grateful for all of the information I've learned about myself, like, like the dots I've been able to connect, like how being triggered by something a friend of mine says is actually related to the way that I felt like the way that I felt ostracized on the playground when no one wanted to play with me. And like one little thing, even though they didn't mean it that way or, or even had any malicious intent behind it has then taken me back to that 12 year old girl who just feels so alone and doesn't know what she did wrong and, and just wants to people please. And I think the best part of therapy is within a split. Yeah. Have you seen that? So Raven, No. Oh, it's this show with Raven Simone on the Disney channel when we, when we were growing up and she has these visions, she's a psychic and she just like stares off into space and then she zooms out and then she zooms back in and no time has gone, but she saw maybe a 30 minute vision play out. Um, but she comes back and it's been like a split second. And that's how, that's what therapy feels like. It takes me back and I analyze that moment. And I understand that that moment is not this moment. And my friend cares about me and she's not actually trying to make me feel like no one wants to play with me on the playground just because she said, you can come if you want and not, I want you to come. You